Egypt. <laughs> Am I a bad person? I don't know. <laughs>that I am really really needing to read for 2018. A couple of these books I've been saying that I need to read since they were released and uh, has your girl done it yet? No, that's why we're making this video so hopefully your girl can be held accountable for once in her life and she'll actually read what she says she's gonna read. This is like the Lunar Chronicles all over again, okay people? Like it took me like three years to read that series and now it's one of my favorite series so why I never listen to any of you guys I don't know but like you know without further ado let us get started first book that I really 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 want to read this year hasn't actually been released yet it's actually getting released in March but I got an advanced readers copy of it and like I don't think anybody understands the excitement that I have about this right now like when I opened it I freaked out a little bit but it is a wicked deep by Shay Earnshaw and this has been advertised this has been advertised as hocus pocus meets practical magic which are two of my favorite freaking movies so you know I need to pick up this book. It follows three sisters who were murdered two centuries ago because they were believed to be witches and every summer they return to the town of Sparrow and basically take over the bodies of three weak-hearted girls and lure men into the river and I'm assuming drown them and like honestly I am here for this concept. So every year the town of Sparrow becomes this tourist attraction because it is rumored that these three sisters return. One of the locals, Penny, hates this whole idea of the sisters and then a boy named Bo shows up. Bo has no idea about the tales of the sisters, he just wants a job and so when things become very tense Bo begins to believe that Penny is telling lies, Penny believes that Bo is telling lies, all the townspeople are turning against each other, and I am just saying that this book sounds so freaking good. I'm so excited for it. Thank you so, so much to Simon & Schuster for sending me a copy of this book because, like, I'm so excited. Three of the books that I have are second in the series, so I'm going to talk about those now just to get them out of the way. The first one is the sequel to Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. I read the first book, Daughters of Smoke and Bones, like, I think 2016, maybe 2015. It was a long time ago, so honestly, I probably remember nothing that went on in it. I have all three of the books. My mom read them. She loved them. So, you know, your girl's got to pick them up eventually, so it might as well be soon, hopefully. Yeah, next second book in a series that I need to read, because the third one is coming out very shortly, and it is Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. First book was Illuminae. Third book is going to be Obsidio, second book Gemini. I didn't really love Illuminae. I gave it a 3.5, I think, if I remember correctly. I've heard that this one is better, so hopefully I agree. I still, like, totally dig the whole, like, you know, mixed media way of telling the story. I think it's a cool concept. It reminds me of Night Film. If you've been on this channel for a while, you know Night Film one of my favorite books. So mixed media is something I'm always interested in in books. So when it has it, I usually enjoy it. So hopefully that's the case with this one. The next book is also a second in the series and I love the first book. The first book is The Diviner. Second book, Lair of Dreams by Libba Bray. It took me so long to read The Diviners. Why? I don't know. It was, I think, my third favorite book of 20. 17. Honestly, I'm probably wrong with the numbering, but I know it was pretty high up there. I love that book. I bought the second book before I even read the first book because everybody was like, you're gonna love it. So I was like, might as well buy the second book, you know? And then the third book come out. I haven't bought it yet because I'm trying to have self-control. Honestly, I'm probably gonna end up buying it because I always end up buying the entire series, even if I haven't read the first book because of logic of JN, which is what happened with the next book that I'm going to talk about. I have the entire series, haven't read the first book, but besides the point, we'll get to that when we get to it. I need to read this book so I can fangirl with everybody else. That's my logic for this. So the next book is the one where I literally bought the entire series because everybody 
hyped this series so much which means I'm probably going to hate it because I usually hate the books that are overhyped but it is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. I know a lot of people are saying like Sarah J Maas is over but like I've never read one of her books so like I'm going to be the judge if she's over or not all right. All I know is that it follows an assassin named Selena. I've been like trying to avoid the whole learning about what the books are actually about. I made my roommate read these and she actually liked them a lot. I just wanted to give her like a huge series to marathon because like I haven't read the book but I've heard so many people like it and I made her read the Lunar Chronicles and she liked it so I was like okay like other people like this one hopefully you do too but she ended up really liking it so now I kind of really want to read it to see if I like it as well you know what I'm saying? Final book is also by Sarah J Maas and it is another series that everybody seems to love and your girl hasn't read yet. It's A Court of Thorns and Roses. I've just heard everybody talk about this book and the second book and the third book, and then there's like a fourth one coming out or something. Like honestly, I don't even know what series is what with hers anymore. Like is Tower of Dawn part of the Throne of Glass series or is it this one? I don't even know. I don't even know. The point is I need to get on the bandwagon and hopefully like this book. It's a Beauty and the Beast retelling and your girl is in love with fairy tale retellings so hopefully I like this one but if I ever actually get around to reading it I'll let you know if I actually do love it or not. Alright guys, so that was six books that I really need to get to in 2018. Hopefully it will actually happen. Hold me accountable to this because I think I've been saying this about at least three of these books since I started my booktube channel so like uh, questionable if this will actually happen. 100% Wicked Deep will happen but we'll see about the other ones. I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!